Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Good morning. This is the Valder Beebe Show, broadcasting live in Dallas, Texas. Who do I have in the studios with me? Hi, I'm Dr. Karen Fling, veterinarian in Dallas, Texas. Oh, hi, Dr. Karen. How are you? Doing great. Good to talk to you. Thank you. Good to talk to you. You brought a guest, too. Who'd you bring? Uh, I'm Rick Marinson. I'm a veterinarian in Longwood, Florida. All right. I got two veterinarian doctors. Guys, thank you so very much for joining us. So you're pretty much uh, familiar with the Dallas area, and we're a, broad, we're a global show. We're not just local, but we really connect with the local population. And we've had a lot of rain, and I know people are having problems with their pl pets and their plants. So, if we could start with you, Dr. Karen, give us give us the medical what we need to know. Well, you're so on target with the the mention of the weather. Uh, with the CAPC release of the forecast maps of parasites, we're really seeing a huge uptick in things like ticks and fleas and mosquitoes and diseases that are carried by those vectors. And in fact, the newest forecast maps are predicting an increase in Lyme disease. And that's something I'm particularly concerned about right in our Dallas area. You know, we think about that as being a Lyme, Connecticut or New England problem, but actually we're seeing it right there in Dallas. So these forecast maps not only offer us advice for our local region in Dallas, but across the country. And so the, the maps will help us to know what our pets are at risk for. Dr. Rick, would you add to that conversation? Yeah, absolutely. So like you know, the, the Companion Animal Parasite Council is a board of practicing veterinarians, veterinary parasitologists, and public health officials. And our job is to set protocols for the testing, treatment, and prevention of these parasites. And these maps that Dr. Fling had mentioned are our annual prediction about where these diseases are going to be hot spots in our country. Literally no part of the country remains unaffected, but there are certainly areas that are more or less at risk. Our message, though, is always protect your pet, never let your guard down, see your veterinarian, and keep your animals on year-round parasite prevention. Dr. Karen, when we're talking parasite prevention, I've only had a dog, but are you talking about, you know, people have ferrets and, and little gerbils? And right, mice. right, exactly. And, and with each of those species, there are different recommendations for preventatives. And you mentioned cats. A lot of people don't even think cats are susceptible to heartworm disease. People think of it as a dog problem only. But the truth is cats are very, very susceptible. And as few as one or two worms in a teeny tiny little cat heart uh, can be enough to kill them. Ferrets are also highly susceptible to heartworm disease. So you want to see your pet's veterinarian. You want to talk to them about annual testing and year-round prevention for these things. It's a great way to keep your pets and your family safe. Dr. Rick, uh, Dr. Karen touched a little bit upon Lyme disease. Is there an uptick in that problem? And also, is there an, uh, there's a play on words? I saw a special yesterday about uh, people now having uh, allergies to after they're being bitten by ticks, and now they're allergic to food that the ticks have bitten. So it's becoming a problem. It is a huge problem. Ticks are not only just gross. They are the carriers <laughs> of disease. And so that's the thing is there's so many things we could be protecting ourselves the Lyme disease, the anaplasmosis, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, Ehrlichia, now this new thing about allergies potentially to beef that somehow could be related to ticks. So the key is we want to keep those ticks off of us. 
Uh, they're very attracted to our pets. The pets sometimes are then the transmission between the environment and us. And so very important that we keep our animals protected and keep these parasites off of them. That's the way you avoid the disease is to avoid the tick. Okay, and I'm going to wrap up with Dr. Karen because I could ask you guys a lot of questions because a lot of these questions came from Facebook. But Dr. Karen, uh, one of my Facebook users has a question is that they have environmental poisoning so they can't be around products. Are there like any natural products that they can use to deal with their pets? And I thought that was a good question. A very good question. And there are a variety of products to choose from. And your pet's veterinarian is going to be the best person to counsel you that way. There are so many different choices today. And the products we have available today are so much better than many of the older products we used to use. So very safe, very non-toxic. And again, this is about not only protecting your pet's health, uh, but also your family's health. So such an important thing. So see your pet's doctor at least annually for testing. And and then consult with your veterinarian about year-round protection and prevention. I want to thank you guys so much. I'd love to spend more time with you because, see, there's a revolution going on in human medicine, and I'd love to know what is the revolution for medicine for pets because, you know, people say pets are their families, guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. We couldn't agree well, more. <laughs> thank you guys so very much. And where would you send my audience, Dr. Karen, if they want to get some more information? Well, you can log on to our website at petsandparasites.org, and you can also go to the iTunes store and download a free app for your iPad and all of our information relative to mapping and relative to the incidents across the country is there and great tools and resources for the pet owner. Dr. Karen Fling and Dr. Rick Manson, thank you so very much for being my guest today on the Valder BB Show. Thank you. Thank you.